is Amy and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I will be sharing with you guys my reviews on all of the Essence Slip products that I personally own. I've tried quite a few and um, I just thought that this would be a pretty fun video to do. I've tried a lot from the Essence brand, but today we're just going to do the lip products and this will be a pretty long video so I'm doing the intro pretty, pretty fast, <laughs> but um, yeah, we'll do some arm swatches. And yeah, just to let you know, I'm not wearing any makeup right now. I normally would, like, I do wear these lipsticks is what I'm saying. I don't just have them to not wear them. There are a few, a couple that I don't wear and I will point those out to you and I've been saving them for this. But yeah, um, without further ado, let's just go ahead and begin with all of my reviews on these lipsticks and their swatches. All right, so we'll just begin with their lip glosses and the one lip oil that I have. I've got a few different ones and I have different opinions on pretty much all of them. And yeah, so um, we'll just start with this one. This is the, the Essence Prettifying Lip Oil and this says it's light feeling and this has jojoba oil in it. And um, this color is SOS My Heart. All the uh, colors of the lipsticks will be listed down below. Uh, yes, this color is SOS My Heart, and let me swatch it for you. So this is a lip oil, and this one has pigment. No, I will look in the viewfinder for doing this, by the way. Um, they don't all have pigment, but this one does. All of the lip oils, I mean. And I also used this in an ASMR video, and that will be linked down below um, if you'd like to see that. So yeah, this is what this one looks like, and it's pretty uh, red when you put it on your lips. You can tell uh, that it is red instead of it just being clear, um, and this is very nice. Um, however, this is quite sticky, so I don't wear it too often because of that, and there's actually more lip glosses that I've tried that feel like a lip, like you think a lip oil would be. Um, you would kind of think that a lip oil would not be very sticky, and then it would kind of move around easily. But this one is very sticky and I can actually tell that I'm wearing it when I'm talking. And um, sometimes that's not what I prefer. But the color is very nice and I do um, really enjoy wearing it for that reason. So um, yeah, this is pretty sticky but it's also pretty cheap. So yeah, it, it's kind of a toss up. Um, I would say try the, the colored one first and then you can decide if you want the others because of the sticky factor. So yeah. This is the Prettifying Lip Oil in the color SOS My Heart. Okay, now we'll go ahead and do their Shine 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 What Look Lip Gloss. And this is in the color Indie Romance. And the thing with this is that it's very pigmented. But it's not, it's not pigmented in the best of ways. You do get a lot of lip gloss in here, which is good if you enjoy the color. Um, we'll swatch it right here. It's very pigmented. Um, the applicator, I'll show you on one of the other lipsticks that has the same applicator. Um, so this is very nice, but the applicator is very nice. But the thing with this is that it kind of sinks into your lip lines, which doesn't look the best. And it is opaque, but not to the level where it covers up everything. My own lip color shines through with this one, and it doesn't really look the best. This sinks into my lip lines. I don't think it's very sticky. Um, but it just looks very thick and I'm afraid that it will move. So yeah, that's what this one looks like. Okay, and then these next two, these are the Essence XXXL Shine Lip Glosses, at least that's as much as I can see. This one is in the color Fabulous Fuchsia. And as you can see, this has a paddle applicator, like this. and. Uh, I really enjoy these. I have no complaints. Um, they're not too sticky and they're just really nice to put on. You don't have to look when you're putting them on and um, yeah, these are just really good. So yeah, that's what this color looks like and this color is Fabulous Fuchsia. This one is in the color Cute Pink and this is my favorite of the two. I've actually used quite a lot of this. These aren't being sold in Europe anymore. Um, I've gone up to a few different um, Essence displays, but they're not selling them anymore. They're only selling these ones 
So that's too bad. I might have to ask one of my friends to buy another one and send one to me. So this is what this one looks like. This one is more sheer, um, but you can still see the color and it still looks different than a clear lip gloss. And yeah, this color is cute pink. Okay, so now we'll move on to the lip liner. Uh, this lip liner is their long-lasting lip liner in the color 08 Girl Next Door. This color is very uh, nude, but it's not a realistic nude color. Um, and I know that your lips do are not this color, um, at least most people's aren't, but on me it looks kind of deathly, like, uh, like I'm very cold or... I don't know, like I've died, so it doesn't look the best on me, it looks quite grey, um, and it looks very grey compared to my lipsticks that are um, this sort of shade. <laughs> but this one, it rolls up, and I'll just go ahead and show you. I haven't worn this, I have tried wearing it, but it looks um, so much like death that it's quite hard. So as you can see, it's kind of purpley toned. Um, and it's dark and kind of purpley and it's not pinky toned at all it's I think they went a little bit too far with the nude color on this one um, also a thing to note is that the cap doesn't stay on very easily but the cap doesn't stay on very long or very well so I think that's a flaw in the design but it might work for you and this stays on pretty long it um, it's very matte and um, it, I wouldn't say it really glides on very easily, it wouldn't be very easy to use if your lips are dry, but if your lips are in pretty good condition, you can still use it. It's not a bad lip liner for sure. This one is the color Girl Next Door. Alright, so now these next two are their liquid lipsticks. I don't think that these have come to the States yet, um, but these do not dry down completely, so yes, I want to let you know that. I think you would call this a lip cream, I've never tried the NYX matte lip creams lip creams before but um i imagine this is what that's like i don't know here this one's actually pink there now i can see the contrast so yeah now it's more accurate on camera but this is the one that i wear um i'll tell you why i don't wear the other one so this one has the same applicator that the lip gloss has that i showed you before yeah it looks like this and these smell like Nutella that has maple in it. It's, it's a very good scent. This is what this color looks like. This is the Essence Matte 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 Long Lasting Lip Gloss. This is matte. This is not a lip gloss, but um, it's a very whipped liquid lipstick formula. It doesn't dry down, like I said. This is what the swatch looks like. And um, it's very brown with some reddish undertones, I would say. Um, and this this color is Beauty Approved number 02. So this is the second darkest one in their line. And this one is the first darkest one. Um, this is the lightest one. <laughs> and this one is, is one that I cannot pronounce. So this will be in the description. All of them will be in the description. Yeah, so I can't wear this one because it's too pink. So yeah, it's very bubblegum pink, just not a color that I really like. And so this one is a lot more pink than it looks when you buy it in the store from the display. This one is a lot darker than it looks. So yeah, that's something. I would not buy this one because this one is very streaky. Um, the other one is quite streaky, but because it's a darker color, it doesn't show up as well. Um, which is kind of on the flip side of how lip products normally act, I feel. So, I would say stay away from this lightest color, um, it's just, it's not, it's not good, it's, it's, it's not very opaque, I can see my skin through this swatch, it's kind of hard to tell, but also, um, on here you can tell that it's quite a whipped formula, and I really enjoy that, and I think that's why it's so comfortable, I've worn this all day long, and it does come off when you eat things, which I think, um, makes sense for why they labeled it as a lip gloss. These are very good. I really enjoy this one because it's a darker color, but this one I don't enjoy because it's a lighter color and that means it's very streaky and you can see your lips underneath it and you can't get a very precise lip line with it. So yes, I don't really enjoy this one. 
and the name of it will be down in the description as well as it will be for this one. So these next two lip products are their Color and Care Lipstick with Avocado Butter. This one is in the color uh, Made My Day. This is number 02, so this is the second lightest. And this one is in the color Don't Be Shy. These really aren't very comfortable, and I don't really feel like they're taking care of my lips, so I really don't like these very much. But these aren't really the best. Now, why they're not the best is because they're very thick. This one, once again, is Don't Be Shy, and this is the lightest. And I bought these because they're very compact. This is as much product as you get in here. This one I do not wear because the color doesn't work well on me. Um, and it's just too light for my skin tone. If you have a lighter skin tone than mine, um, I think it will work for you. Maybe, I'm not quite sure, but um, yes, I would stay away from this one. It's very thick and it's quite streaky. So yes, even for how compact it is, how cheap it is, I don't think you should buy this one. And I enjoy this one. This one is the color Made My Day. So I love the color of this one and I really enjoy it. Right. And then finally, we have their Sheer and Shine lipsticks. I'm sure you've seen these before. These all look like they're pretty much the same color, but they're not. They're all different colors. So I'm going to show you these. This color right here is the one that I own, and this is uh, number 02, Cute Nude. And these are called their Sheer and Shine lipsticks. They look like this, and you get this much product. Um, and the scent of these, I hate. They smell like chocolate milk to me, like um, chocolate milk mix, like protein chocolate milk mix. Um, so that's what they smell like, <laughs> and they kind of taste like that as well. So, yeah. So as you can see, they're pretty sheer. Um, and I love the color, so I wear it even though I do not like the scent. Um, yeah, so that's the first one. This is Cute Nude. This next one right here is number 11. This is all about Cupcake. These are my mom's. Um, and she keeps these in her purse. So this is all about Cupcake, number 11. And this is what it looks like. Swatches are just going further and further down my arm. I really like this color. Um, so yeah, that's what that one looks like. This is more of a watermelon shade than the last one, which was more of a nude shade. And then this last one is number 03, and this is in the color BFF. And this is a lot darker than the others. Yeah, it's pretty dark. This is a pretty fall color. Um, right there. So yeah, I would say while it's fall and while it's winter and all of that, you should try this one out because it's sheer and it's very comfortable. And this one is very comfortable. It feels a lot like a lip balm, but it doesn't move around as much as a lip balm. Um, none of these do. For these three so yes um these are great i believe they all smell like that yep they all smell like chocolate milk so i don't like the smell but the one that i own which is cute nude is really good so i use it anyway um i've actually used quite a lot of it but just the smell really bothers me personally so it's a very strong smell also you can kind of smell it as you're wearing it so if you have a problem with scents, I'd say stay away, but otherwise these are great to try out and I would definitely try out um, BFF for winter time just to have it, just to try it out. And if you're starting out with darker lip colors, I would definitely go for BFF. I think it would uh, really be wonderful. Um, and then these are the last two lipsticks that I have, the last two lip products. Um, so we'll do this one. This one is one of their matte, matte, matte uh, lipsticks. This one is in the color Wow Effect, and this is number three. Let me see if it's like BFF over here, which is also number three. Let's see, BFF and uh, Wow Effect. So they're a little bit different. So yes, this one is Wow Effect, and this is a matte lipstick. This is the only matte lipstick that I've tried, so I couldn't really give a very good um, explanation of it. 
So I'll put it right up here. It kind of tugs on your skin while you're putting it on. I think that may be just how um, matte lipsticks work. But yes, so this one is quite uncomfortable. Um, I got this one because I saw Tati wearing it, but she's really fun to watch and listen to. But yes, this one looks looked amazing on her, and I like how this one looks on me, but um, I don't like how it's matte. It's not comfortable for me. Yeah, it kind of skips while you're putting it on, so I don't know, it's, it's not the best. And then this very final product, this is the very last one. This is uh, one of their lipsticks. I don't think it says, oh, this says it's their long-lasting lipstick. I wouldn't call it that. And this one is number 13, Love Me. I really like this one. I've worn this a few times. And this is quite a summery color. So for right now, I like to wear it over lip balm. I wear most of my lipsticks over lip balm, but yeah. And it's a lot more pigmented than the others, except for that one. That one at the top is very pigmented. So yeah, this is uh, Love Me. And these are all of the lip products. So yeah, quite a few. There's quite a color range. And now you can't really tell that this one is red compared to all the others, but it's actually very pretty and you can tell that it's red when it's on. So yeah, those are all of the Essence lip products that I've tried. I can barely even hold them all, but <laughs> yeah, these are they. And um, yeah, so if you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up and you could subscribe you can at all. You can subscribe if you'd like to see more videos. I really like doing uh, videos that are based around essence. I really enjoyed this and I'd like to do a lot more. So if you have another category for me, you can let me know and um, maybe I can do it. Maybe I have some things. So yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, these were all of the lip products that I've tried from Essence. These are their swatches. All the names will be down in the description in order of which one came first in the video and then going down. And um, yeah, those are all of those. So yeah, if you like the video, you can give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe if you'd like to see more. So anyway, uh, that was the video and yeah, I'll see you guys for my next one.